track that was used for both the 1932 and 1980 Winter Olympic Games. If you think of historic sports venues from around the world, like Wimbledon for tennis or Indianapolis for auto racing, this track on the left is world famous in its own right. Nine decades ago, baseball had Babe Ruth and bobsledding had Billy Fisk, who won the gold medal here in 1932 in the four-man bobsled event. The award ceremony took place not far from where you are now. And listen to Fisk comment on winning the gold and the cup. I'm very glad you've been able to win this cup for America, and I hope it stays in this country. Two Lake Placid residents, Curtis and Hubert Stevens, won the two-man gold medal in 1932 games. And listen to what they said after they won their gold medal. Very wonderful trip down the slide. It's a thrill of the sport rather than the victory that really counts in bobsled. To the left, you will see the new cross-country and biathlon courses that were just built to accommodate the 2023 World University Games that will be staged in Lake Placid. This event will enrich Lake Placid and New York State's Olympic legacy into a second hundred-year span. This global event will be staged over 11 days with 13 different sports competing involving 600 universities, 60 nations, and a total of 3,000 athletes, delegates, and officials. The event was staged previously in Lake Placid in 1972, and it was called the Kennedy Games. And yes, Jackie Kennedy did attend. We would like to review some of the riding instructions with you. This is an active participation ride. Remember, you are in full control of the ride once you have passed the attendant building at the top. You will be able to control your speed with the brake levers. Simply push the levers to go and pull the levers to slow down or to break. Keep your eyes forward at all times. Remember, it is your responsibility to slow down and brake for slow or stopped riders. Maintain 80 feet between you and the cart in front of you. You should increase your distance to 180 feet for wet conditions. There are signs along the uphill ride to assist you in judging 80 feet and 180 feet. Thank you. nationally significant for its association with the 1932 Winter Olympics and for its role in the development of bobsledding in the United States. Also for its association with the development of Lake Placid as a center for women's sports in the U.S. The bobsled run was constructed in 1930 after Godfrey Dewey was successful in convincing the International Olympic Committee to bring the 1932 Winter Olympic Games to Lake Placid. Dewey was the son of Lake Placid club founder Melville Dewey who founded the Dewey Decimal System in our libraries. After persuading the, the IOC that Lake Placid could offer facilities equal to the best European sites, Dewey was instrumental in securing funding, identifying event sites, and participating in the design and construction of sports facilities. Of the latter, the bobsled run was considered critical, and Dewey promised the committee a first-class run. Despite America's inexperience with bobsled tracks, Dewey succeeded by securing the service of Stanislaus Kerensky, a renowned German course designer who designed a course that was radically different from its European counterpart. Straight up in front of you to the top of the mountain they call Mount Van Hovenberg. Way up there was the original start of the 1932 bobsled competition. The track then was one and a half miles in length. It was shortened in 1939 to one mile. And if you get a chance, there is a great trail to the top where you can see the remnants of the old 1932 track. And when you get to the top, a breathtaking view awaits you. If you look to the left, that building is where the start was for the 1980 Winter Olympic Games bobsled competition. On your right is the new bobsled loop.
Keep your seatbelts buckled at all times. You will soon be entering the downhill track. Push the brake levers forward now and keep them forward until you have passed the attendant building. Push forward until you get past the deck. Now you're controlled. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, now get ready for the ride down this historic track. We'll be going over the top of the same track used for both the 1932 and 1988 Winter Olympic Games. Attention. And they're off. Now a long straightaway above Curve 1. And on the long straightaway above the finish curve. And now we're going to enter a 360 degree curve we call a Chrysler. Only two Olympic tracks ever had one of those built. Now you're approaching the finish curve, taking the curve through. Taking a bobsled ride is called the Champagne of Thrills. And if you like what you just did, sign up for the real deal. The ride on ice in the winter. Awesome.